We just did a full frame versus challenge and I'll show you how I won it right now. <laughs> what is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, picture this. We're doing a full <laughs> frame versus challenge. <laughs> Yep, so I was cruising around on Pinterest as usual and found this really cute picture of this fall frame. It basically looked like what we've got here, this kind of a frame, and it had some flowers on it and it said happy fall, and I thought it would be a really cute home decor item. And so I shared it with Garrett and said, look, I want to do this with real flowers this time, which is a little different than what we've been doing. What do you think? I said, oh. <laughs> No thanks. He said I wouldn't know what to do with those flowers. Yeah. I'll do mine with the Glowforge. I'll do mine with the Glowforge. So that's how we ended up with a versus challenge. So I'm going to do mine the way I envision it in my head with the silk flowers. And I'm going to do mine the way that I envision it with not silk flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Step one. We're going to gather all of our supplies. I needed a frame because that's part of the challenge. Some paints, using country chic paints, some glue, some MDF, that's how I'm making my flowers. And I think that's it. I think that's about it for you. Yes, yeah, so we got these frames at Hobby Lobby. I'll be using the same frame. This frame is only $10, but the great thing was it was on sale for 40% off, so I got this one for $6. And there were only two, so Garrett's frame here is a little bit damaged and that the corners don't quite come together. I don't, maybe it's been dropped because it also yeah. doesn't have its little piece of paper in the front of it. That is okay because it'll be covering up the corners. So his was only... Like three bucks. Yeah, I think it was four dollars. So I think oh, we got both of these for ten dollars. So that's a great deal. Five dollars for each or whatever. And then I'm going to need some silk flowers. I'm, again, it's going to be a fall theme. So I've got some fall colored flowers. And this one has some... Um, tiny pumpkins. Tiny pumpkins and berries. Corn husks. You're growing nice. pumpkin flowers. Yeah, it's going to be so cute. And then I'm going to wrap my frame. I think he's painting his, I'm gonna but paint my frame. I'm going to wrap mine in uh, like some burlap ribbon. This isn't exactly burlap. It's more like of a, a linen type color, Super but I'm going to wrap mine in this to give it that extra texture. Ooh. And then I'm going to use um, a word saying that's going to be cut out of the MDF as well, which oh. I'll paint and attach. Oh. Now you want to use some MDF. I do. I will be using some MDF. And the great thing about these paints that we're using this time, I, if you guys have been following us, you know that Country Chic has come out with some new colors and Garrett's frame is fortunate enough to use a lot of them. Oh, so yeah. we'll be using this great new orange, which is persimmon, and they really needed a nice pumpkin orange for fall. I'm really excited about that. Secret Garden, it's Ooh. this fall green, a really pretty purple called Opulence. Ooh, sounds and then decadent. a light tan called Road Trip. It's like a sand color. Road trip and then this the darker brown. It's not it's between the two browns. It's lighter than dark rose. This one's called leather. Leather bound. Leather bound. And look how beautiful and rich that brown is. So like he's got all the, the great fall colors here. And then maybe some of the others that they already had, which we, what do we have out? Fireworks and cheers. And I don't, are you using that red? Yeah. This red is practically empty and it's like <laughs> crumbs. No. I'm going to try to fill it with water and I'm going to use that to stain my... Don't worry, I have a big red. That's alright. That's my show red. That's my picture red because it goes back here on the shelf when it's empty. <laughs> Paint the town. Step two. Now I paint. I'm going to paint my frame. Kim's going to wrap her frame. And I'm going to wrap mine. So we have to remove this little MDF backer. Alright, so this paint practically empty. I don't know, can you see it? It's all dried up. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. The scooch. Maybe a little more of the scooch. I'm gonna give it a good shake and I'm gonna use a kind of, I'm gonna try to stain my frame this dark red, see if it works. So you look, the lid is not watertight. Oh, look at there. So I'm about half 
halfway through wrapping my frame and I wanted to show you what we decided to do for the corners because that ended up being a little bit tricky. So we're gonna wrap just the corner first and get that covered and then we're gonna continue our wrap around the edges and over the corner. So let me show you that up close. Can the camera see this okay? Yep. So I've pinched in the sides here and left this at a V over top of it. Hope you can see that okay. And then I'm gonna glue it down that way. So that keeps a nice tight corner. And then I'm gonna bring this one in. And this one, it doesn't really matter what it looks like on the back, cause I'm gonna wrap right over it. <clears throat> but I am gonna cut it a little bit shorter. And now I'm gonna just keep wrapping right on around that corner. Step three, and now we're gonna prep our flowers. I'm gonna take this quarter inch MDF over to the Glowforge and cut it out. I'm gonna stop at Illustrator and bust out a real quick design though. Oh, real quick, huh? Real quick. <laughs> and then I am going to start separating my flowers. They all came in a big bunch like this, but I'm going to want them to kind of go around the corner a little bit. So, you cutting heads off? Yes, I'm going to be doing a little clipping. <laughs> These are so weird. Like, why would you put a pumpkin on a stem? That's how they grow. That's <laughs> <laughs> I want a bushel of pumpkins. <laughs> It's time for me to paint all of my flowers. I made this backer that everything is gonna go on. And then here are all my little pieces that I'm gonna paint. And since I helped Kim trim some of her stems, <laughs> yes. she's gonna help he, me paint. He used the wire cutters, and instead of doing one at a time, he, he insisted on cutting like five at one time. <laughs> I was helping her speed things up. So she's gonna help me speed things up. She's gonna help me paint. Well, Garrett's done a really great job of figuring out how to layer this. Uh, so we're gonna make this flower kit available in our store in case you wanna make a flower frame because I'm really excited about it. But I think it's gonna make it really easy to paint. Oh yeah, I, I made sure it was easy for me to paint. Well, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yep. really feeling this red frame so I'm gonna give it a coat of this country chic cheesecake that's what I was advised to do <laughs> step four Woo! now we <laughs> assemble <laughs> I'm just gonna glue all of mine together mine is looking so hot you'll forget it's fall <laughs> And I'm gonna hot glue and staple gun my silk flowers, silk flowers, to my frame. I think I'm gonna glue all my pieces down and then I'll glue it to my frame. Okay. 
we got to finish up because we have a concert tonight. We're going to see Train. What was the last concert you went and saw? I don't know why I keep pointing with the glue. <laughs> That's a good question. For my happy fall, y'all, because my frame is wrapped, I think I'm gonna glue the back of this and glue it onto the frame, and then I'm gonna add a little brad nail to make sure that it uh, stays attached to the frame. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little hot glue here. How do I make sure it's perfectly level? I gotta eyeball it? Yeah, I think you're gonna have to eyeball it. Oh my goodness. Good thing I'm good at it. <laughs> <laughs> you got us both with that one. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need that. The glue? Yeah. Alright, I'll keep it flicking. Do you know where that's going to attach to the frame? No, that's what I'm gonna use hot glue. Hot glue and the super glue, right? And the star bond. It's down. That's it. That's it. That's where it lives. That's where she lives now. Count to ten. Count to ten. Mm -hmm. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those are really fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you so looks good. Good job. I want that one, like right there. Yeah. Uh huh. I think they. I don't know. You guys are gonna have to help. I'm pretty sure. Sometimes I can tell. Mm, I've won, or mm, he's won. This one. I think they're both great. Right there. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. I can see your vision, but this one really needs happy fall inside. Inside? Yes. You think this will work? No. Yeah. I think hold it up and show them, but before you attach it, we might have to think twice about it because it sure looks. That looks so good. I love it. No, I like this. Okay. I'm going to attach it. I'm attaching it. Oh. I'm in. You guys can send us yours. Yeah. You did it differently. <laughs> Where's the? I can see you got a little paint. Before you get it down, well, let me I see if I can touch that up right there. Yeah. Let me see if I can touch that up for you. So we can't see that white paint. Alright, going in. Okay, go for it. Hope it's not crooked. I need an eyeball it. Never. It's good. It's not crooked. Okay. Let me give it another second to dry. All right. Well, while you're doing that, can you grab the bread nailer behind you? Yeah. And give me just a little shoot in here somewhere. Just to make sure that it stays. And I want it between the peas. Between the peas. Get, Get it right between, between the peas. peas. <laughs> like this. Perfect. Oh, not perfect. That's all right. I can use... Do we have any nail sets? <laughs> I thought we did. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's great. Good. Top one? Yeah. Ow! Oh All right, my let me God. Do it. <laughs> Babe, I got it! Oh, oh! That's why you said I gotta hit that with some paint. He he got it in there, but he marred my paint job in the process. Well, yeah. What about that? Oh, right what about that? <laughs> Careful! That's a lot of paint on there. 
Here, all right, let me do it, let me do it. You're gonna mess it up. Just need it with a little less paint on it, yes. There you go. You're good, you're good, good. All right, you're good. Oh, I guess mine needs a ribbon. Yeah, hang. they both need. We're gonna use just a piece of I'm gonna use two and a half inch ribbon yeah, and hang it yeah. by yes, by some ribbon. I'll use something that's more coordinating in color. And yes, you should use a burlap ribbon. Mine's pretty popping. I don't know. Let me see yours. All right, yours looks good though. I know. That's what I said. Let me see mine and yours. I don't know. I don't know. That's a tough one. Wow, that I looks like so good. You've got hot glue. You've got yeah, hot glue from here to there. Everywhere. That looks so good. Yes. All right. Vote down below. Garrett wins. No. Yeah. No. Totally. Kim wins. Kim wins. One of us is going to win. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you guys think? Came out okay. Came out okay. Yours is popping. I think yours might have been easier too. Uh, well, uh, yeah. Well, I didn't ne have nearly the amount of painting that you did, but yeah, man, that thing painting. is beautiful. All right. Looks like we're about out of time. So if you're not joining us over there on Patreon, 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 Patreon. I love my patrons. <laughs> we will see you next week. Where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. I'm gonna balance them. Don't you do I'm it. I'm start with mine. Oh, come though. on, you're gonna you're gonna be so mad at yourself. When it's so awesome. Oh, looks like it's floating. Magical. Should I do yours? No. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. I like my acorns. I like my acorns the best. I like it all. I think it looks great. Whoops. Oh, got the stools there.